the third straight time you guys are trailing at half and are able to put together a run like that in the second? Uh, that tells you a lot. Uh, I believe we fighters. I feel like we'll never go away. As long as we stay together and as long as like we believe in what coach preaches to us every day, I believe we, we're a pretty good team. So we just, you know, I know we're going to be down. Uh, basketball is a game full of runs. So I feel like we just knew what, what kind of energy they were going to come out with. They lost, what, three or four straight? So we just knew they were going to come out on fire. But we just kind of settled down and stayed together. Of course, it's a game. Michael? Yeah, Jermaine, just did you guys change anything up in the, in the second half? Or, or what kind of came together for you guys to be able to go on that run that you went on? I believe we just started sharing the ball. Like they was all like switching everything when we was trying to run. So I feel like we just kept, got more into the paint and just kicked out. So just so that they, so that they can help. I believe that's really really it. Everybody just been aggressive. Like we was kind of passive in the first half. People was passing up shots. So I feel like in the second half we just everybody had confidence. Mike Cuba. Jermaine, what do you think this team took away from that loss against Arkansas? And in terms of just being able to come out here in the second half, these last couple of games, do you think that is something that you guys took something away from and has helped you guys in these last couple of games? Oh, yeah, definitely. I feel like if we would have played how we played in the first half in Arkansas, we would, we would have came out on top. But, you know, every game we just learning, learning different things. We just keep building, stacking day, good days on top of good days and just make sure everybody stay together. Colin? I mean, you kind of mentioned staying and kind of weathering that initial run from Texas A&M. How hard is that to do when they're playing really well through the first part? And how much of that do you credit being some an older team with Eric, with James, with you uh, and Key? I feel like we all know, like, what's our part on the team. So it's just like we know, like, if we play down, we can't, like, get discouraged or doubt, like, think the game over. Because, again, basketball is full of run. Anybody can go on a 8 no run quick if somebody make a shot. No, so I just felt like we just stayed. Main thing was to stay together. We know they fans was gonna be going crazy, so we just maintained and stay together and just complete the course. And what's that like for you guys? Have you ever been a part of a three game stretch where you guys have had twenty four to nothing? I think fifteen to one, seventeen to one run. I, don't, I, don't, I really no, nah, I haven't. I, ain't gonna lie, I haven't. Can I haven't. you put that into words? Just what what it's like to have those three back to back to back? Uh, it's, it started with our defense. I feel like we play. A, ton, a pretty good defense in the second half. And that just gave us the ability to get out and run. And that's what we like to do, get out and run. Michael? Uh, these last couple of games really seems like maybe the first time this season that, that you and the other veterans, you know, Stevenson, Reese, Bryant, are all kind of firing and going at, at the same time. Yeah, you know, how does it feel with all you guys are playing as well as you are? And then just how good can this team be when you guys are, are playing at the level that you are? As you can see, like we came out on top. So I just feel like we all know what we can do. Like every time, like last game, Keyshawn really didn't play play well. AJ AJ Wilson stepped up for him. So it's just like the older guys seeing like what we need. And I feel like that's that's a big part on this team because like everybody, I feel like this basketball, I feel like everybody's not gonna have. Somebody's gonna have off game one night, so it just that's what the team for. Everybody pick each other. Up. Phil, hey Jermaine, uh, during this three game winning streak, uh, how far would you say you guys have come defensively, and how close are you to playing the kind of defense that Coach Martin wants to see game in and game out? Uh, we just basically like our defense is just coming together every day. Coaches. Like pound on, pound on us. That's how we win a game. Defense really win a game. So, in order for us to get out, what we love to do is get out of transition and play, and everybody play with confidence. I go. We had to guard defense. 